Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Thanks for stopping by. Before you go, why don't you stick around and learn about a little bit of SEO. Not too long ago, Google called for HTTPS everywhere on the web. Within that same announcement, they also said they'd be using HTTPS as a ranking signal, albeit a small one. However, in some of the tests that we've ran with some of our clients, we've noticed traffic increases as much as 15% within one month of rolling out HTTPS. Today, I'm gonna to go over the HTTPS site environment checklist for moving from HTTP to HTTPS and you'll want to be sure to do all of these things when you migrate your site to maintain or improve your rankings and to make sure that all your data analytical platforms are firing on all levels. Let's dive right in. Before beginning, I'm going to assume that you've already implemented SSL to your site and if you're using WordPress, you've added to the site admin areas as well as the site address area. Furthermore, if you're using WordPress, we like to use the Force SSL plugin, but you may also want to check out the Velvet Blues plugin. Before you roll out the SSL SEO site environment checklist, you'll want to run an SSL test as well as an SSL check to see if everything converted properly. If you're still having issues with the conversion and getting errors and no green padlock, you'll want to check out whynoreadpadlock.com for information that may be preventing the switch. Now on the three simple steps to update your site environment and a bonus four step towards the end of the video. The first thing you want to do is update your site map. Ideally, your site will do this on its own or you have a plugin that automatic, automatically updates your site map. However, um, if you're running a popular SEO plugin for WordPress like Yoast SEO, then you may want to turn off and on the plugin because sometimes it doesn't catch the change right away. You want to be sure to include it in your robots.txt file and update all other hard-coded links on your website that might be HTTP so that they're HTTPS. The second thing you're going to want to do is add the new site version to all your webmaster tools. Go to every webmaster tool that you're running and add the HTTPS version as a new property. While you're there, you'll also want to upload your new sitemap. So now I've heard webmasters that also resubmit their old sitemaps in their webmaster tools property so that Google sees the 3 and redirects and updates its listings, but I've never had this issue before, but it might be something that you want to try. So the third thing that you're going to want to do is update Google Analytics. So if in your analytics setting you need a default URL, you need to update it with the new prefix, HTTPS. And how you do this is you log in under admin and then go to property and then settings and then default URL and you add HTTPS instead of the HTTP. Also, you should note down when you made the switch so that you can begin to monitor how your traffic is affected. The bonus thing that you're going to do is update your CDN. If you're using a content delivery network, you're going to want to update that as well. So most content delivery networks have some documentation of what to do when you update from HTTP to HTTPS and you should look for this and implement it. If you can't find it or you still need help there, contact your CDN provider and they should be able to help you out with this. Now let's go over some of the reasons for rankings drop after implementing HTTPS. So if you're monitoring your data and notice a rankings drop, it could mean a few different things. So let's learn about what those are so you can understand what potentially is affecting your site from ranking to its full potential after the switch. Because in theory, this should increase your site rankings or at least keep them the same as it is a Google recommended protocol. So let's dive in. So one of the main reasons that you might not see a rankings increase or therefore you see a rankings decrease is because you just made the changes and Google has not caught up to them yet. So it's important to recognize that Google de determines everything about your site based on the URL. So as you just changed all the URLs on your site from HTTP to HTTPS, you essentially have an entire new site of URLs that Google now has to recognize. So it's a minor change, but it is technically a new URL, so Google defaults to thinking it's a different page. However, 
given the measures you did above and in, in providing Google with a new updated robots.txt in the sitemap, they should catch on to these changes pretty quick and it shouldn't be a problem for a long time. But it's generally good practice. I recommend a lot of clients or we always have this game plan in, uh, in mind to, to drive a lot of traffic to the site, either paid promotion or social, as well as do a lot of link building around the same time to to boost up any drops that inevitably happen when you change all the URLs of a site from HTTP to HTTPS. Another reason that your traffic might drop is because your internal links still point to HTTP versions of the site. It's pretty simple to just find and replace all the links on your site, and you can do that with some of those plugins that I mentioned above or something, a uh, SEO tool like Screaming Frog or something like that. Um, but if you do have those issues, that might be something to investigate. Another reason is that you have canonical tags pointing to HTTP versions of pages. So in other words, a canonical version of your website is the preferred version of your website. So your preferred version should now be HTTPS, not HTTP. And if you have um, canonical tags pointing to the old versions, you, you're going to have an issue with the rankings there. So um, take those webmaster tools, protocols that we mentioned above, and implement those or double check to see if you did them correctly and then that all your canonicals now point to the preferred version of your website. So that could be HTTPS www if you set that as preferred version or just HTTPS example.com if you set that as a preferred version. So you want to make sure that you set your canonical tags to the proper place and that they're all pointing to the right place so that you don't have this issue. So another really important reason that your traffic might drop is because bots were pointing to the old version of your site. And so in analytics, you'll see this data as referral traffic from bots. But after you make your site secure, the bots will blacklist your site, which is a good thing, and they no longer come there. So in other words, you're not going to get that referral traffic from bots anymore. But if you don't recognize what's in your data and where the referral traffic is coming from, it can look like you lost traffic when in fact your rankings did not drop. You just lost traffic, but the traffic was from bad bots that you didn't need or were not contributing to your business anyway. That's why it's important to recognize the, where your traffic was before you made the switch and then after and then be familiar with all the referral points of data. So that's it for our uh, site migration checklist. Hope you learned something and let me know if you have any questions in the comments and please subscribe to our channel if uh, you want to learn more about technical SEO topics like this and let us know if you have any questions about anything and we'll cover them and uh, we'll rock it out from there. So I'm going to uh, continue to read my book here. Um, skedaddle. Is this real scotch? You guys getting real scotch? It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. What are you thinking?